Okay, you guys, we are on phase three. Boom, boom, boom. Phase three is basically taking phase one. See how they're both in blue and clever like that? Taking phase one and it's two problems in one question, right? So percent, meaning tax, tip, discount, you're basically gonna take it and you're going to do two separate problems in phase three. This is what we wrote on our yellow sheet today. Whatever you find for part one becomes your whole for the next question. So we're gonna talk about that right now. So grab your blue packets of the ones that look like this and follow me back here. Follow me back here. I'm running, I'm running. And so we're gonna do this packet together. I'm gonna to do it kind of quick, just enough to kind of give you a gist of like what we should be doing um, and not to overbore you. So you want to turn to page, oh, that's right. There's no page number. <laughs> There's no page numbers. So you might have to pause this and find the page that says multi-step notes. And then there's like this box here. Uh, pause it and find it and then join me back again, okay? So I have to get to a blank one. That was silly of me. All right, so here's a blank one. This is my answer key. That's going to do you no good because I need to explain it. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is read through the question and then dissect it. So Sean bought a birthday present for his mom. That's so nice. The present costs $45.80. However, you know how this works. It's not going to be $45.80 with America. Remember that video I showed you from Zoom Zealand? <laughs> All right, so it says $45.80. However, Sean is, a th is thrifty, which means he likes to save money, and he had a 25% 25 off, 25 off coupon. He then had to pay 8.25% sales tax. What was the final price of the gift? First thing that's going to clue me in that this is a phase three is that there are two percents. You cannot add those, subtract those, combine those. You ha that just means that you're going to have to do two problems. Okay. The first one's going to be the discount. This is what I put on the yellow sheet. The other two parts. And the second part is going to be calculating the tax. So the discount's going to bring it down and you're like, yay. But then the tax is going to bring it up and you're like, boo. Okay. But not all the way back up to the original. Okay. So what let's so this is just phase one. So you just need your regular template percent part whole. Tink, tink, tink. Dash equals dash 100. All right. So let's talk about this 4580. That is the original cost. So the original cost has to be the whole. And do we know the percent? Yes, 25. And the part must be what we're looking for. I don't know the part. Okay, let's fill in our holes. So 25 and our hole is 4580. And I'm going to put my X here. All right, so here's the deal. That doesn't look like an X. You're gonna cross multiply and you're gonna find the percent. I have to be honest that in my key, I use 75 because it's like one step shorter. And I forgot my calculator, so I'm gonna have to do this with you. So go ahead and cross multiply while I'm getting my calculator and figure out what 25% of that item would be. So let's get how much they're gonna take off. What's the discount amount? Um, so we're going to do, ready? 25 times 45.8 divided by 100. Forty-five eighty times twenty-five divided by one hundred. Did you get eleven forty-five? Me too. So eleven forty-five is the discount. So if this question was asking for, they just want to know how much it was discounted by. That would be your answer. But I don't. I actually want to know what would the new price be if they took eleven dollars and forty-five cents off. So I'm gonna do forty-five eighty minus the discount amount eleven forty-five. So 4580, do this with me because it's definitely easier and better if you do it with me. So 4580 minus 1145 gives you 3435. So you're you're stoked, you know? 3435 is the cost of the present after the discount. 
but hold up a minute. When you go to the register to pay, it's she is not gonna say that's 34 35, please. She has to then tax this. In the new problem, your answer to the first one becomes your whole. So I like to box the answer to my first one and make an arrow over to the whole. Once you figure out the whole, I think everything is really downhill from there. If you've been following along, which most of you have. It's pretty amazing how great you've been doing. So we have two options here. We have the percent, which is 8.25%. Those of you that are following with me, you could do 108.25 and that'll work and it'll be just, you'll get the final price. Or you can just put the 8.25. Put the 8.25%, that means we must be looking for the part. So do your setup, so dash equals dash. I used to have a tripod for my phone, but my daughter borrowed it and now it's missing a part and now I don't have a tripod. Okay, what are we gonna put here? 8.25 and the whole is 34.35. That's given because that was the answer to our first part. And I'm gonna put X here. So let's find 8.25% um, of 34. So you're gonna cross multiply. I'm gonna do it a little differently. I like to do 34. 0.35 times 0.0825. All right, either way, did you get for the tax $2.83? Okay, so that's not how much it's gonna cost. That would be fantastic, but that is not how much the present's gonna cost. They're gonna take this and add it to the sale price. So what is 34.35 plus 283, 34.35. It comes out to be 37.18. So the total cost, total cost is this <laughs> is 37.18. Very hard to write. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble right now. 37.18. It's a terrible three. That looked like 37.18. Okay. So that's all we really did today in class is just go through this first question. Um, and we just wrote what I had on the board for phase three on our yellow sheet. So if this is all you get through today is just taking these notes. Stay tuned tomorrow because we're going to do more. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for coming. And I'm proud of you for showing up. See ya.